Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at in this video is Unify using a third party gateway with Unify or AKA VLAN only. We'll talk about it a little bit, but let's, let's hop over to it. So we're here in my UDR and we're on the network screen. And this is where, you know, we can create a new network. We can edit networks that already exist. Um, or we can look at our global switch and global network settings. Now, if we go to add a new network right here under uh, router, you're going to see the UDR is there. Now, if I had a layer three switch, that switch would also show up there. A layer three switch that could do um, routing with, with Unify. If I select a third party gateway, you're going to notice a lot of that stuff goes away. So here's what happens when you select the UDR. If you do nothing else, but click add network here. It is automatically going to assign it VLAN four. We can see that uh, right here, right by the highlight, right there. It's going to automatically create uh, VLAN four. It's automatically going to put this subnet on it. Now you can manually go in here and you can set the VLAN so you know uh, how I like you know uh, my VLAN number to somehow correlate to the subnet. Regardless, you can come in here. You can make this a guest network, which remember it throws all those cool firewall rules on and you can start drilling down and doing some extra things. Now, if you are using um, a sonic wall, a Fortinet, a Microtech, an edge router, something that is not Unify based and you want to uh, create the VLAN, you're going to have to do it in a couple of places. First, you'll have to do it on your router. If the router is going to do the routing for it or whatever gateway is going to do the routing. And then second of all, you'll have to create it here. And so when I create, and I call this uh, VLAN only, I select third party gateway. Here I have to put a VLAN ID in. So if I put a VLAN ID of 15 and I save that, now I've got, look, it says VLAN only, that's the name that I selected as a third party gateway. But what it did was, it pushed that VLAN. If we come over to Wi-Fi and we create a new Wi-Fi and we drop this down, guess what? We can select that VLAN 15. Okay, but we got to make sure that we got a gateway that's handling the routing for that. Uh, if we go over to our Unify devices and we go to one of the switches that I have, as soon as those pull up. So we'll just go to like my, my flex and we'll go to the ports and we'll go to the port manager. Now, if I pull up like port two and I go to port profile and I go down, now I have VLAN only. Now it used to be that in parentheses, they would show you the VLAN ID. They've done away with that here in the new uh, UI. Hopefully that'll come back. I should put that in as a feature request, but that's it. That's the difference, right? So if you go in and you create a standard network, and you don't do anything, Unify is going to select the subnet, it's going to select the VLAN. If you go to advanced, you can select the subnet, you can select the VLAN. Use a third party gateway. So that means you have a third party device that is going to handle the routing for that, whether it is your router at the head end or another device that's in that VLAN, then you would select that and create VLAN only. If you've got any questions about this, put them down in the comments and we can uh, have a conversation about it. If there's, if this is part of like a, an overarching something or other you need, uh, information about, put that down below and I'll explain it the best I can and do a follow-up video and answer the questions I can in the comments and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. Also down below are all of our affiliate links, the links to our Patreon, and of course the link to willyhow.com If you need it consulting, click that link fill out the contact us form or click hires button. They go to the same place. And uh, once we've received that information, someone will reach out to you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.